Hi children, welcome to Eclid Learning. So this is grade nine playlist for the workbooks and this is for the chapter six. So if you haven't watched my previous videos, uh, please go and watch. There are a separate playlist for each grade uh, for textbook and workbooks, right? So um, in this one, this is the workbook playlist for grade nine and this is the last chapter. So uh, it would be better you first watch the textbook video of chapter six and try these workbook activities by yourself first and then come back and uh, check your answers because please don't copy these answers directly from the video and just write, okay? Yes, ICT and society. So in activity uh, 6.1, work in groups. Make lists to show the use of computers and information communication technologies and their services in your school. Share the information you obtain with other groups, right? So you have to find out in the school how ICT is used. For example, maybe uh, when your teachers are doing the online lessons, they use computers, right? Or uh, in the uh, kind of presentations, right? Sometimes in the school itself, they may be doing presentations to um, sometimes uh, like uh, seminars and all. So then you will use uh, computers. And uh, it's, uh, especially the administration of the school may be uh, using computers to uh, keep the attendance of the teachers, right? Uh, maybe records of the students like that, right? Sometimes in your school, um, there may be LMS, learning management system. So the teachers will be uploading assignments and everything using uh, computers, right? So you can uh, list like that how ICT is used in school, right? Given below are a few machines used to diagnose these illnesses, especially in hospitals, right? So you have to uh, match them, right? So what is this? This is CAT, right? And what is this? This is regarding the brain activities, right? So this is actually EEG, right? And this one, it's very easy one to measure the uh, blood pressure using this, right? And this is to check the blood sugar, right? Blood sugar testing machine, right? And finally, this is related to the heart related activities. That is ECG, right? So hope it's very Easy thing, right? Look around, find other equipment using ICT. Make lists, compare lists with others. So if you refer grade 10 textbook uh, for the first chapter, uh, you can find so many other examples as well regarding these kind of equipment. But anyway, if you Google, you can find so many information. Activity 6.2. What steps can be taken to minimize the digital divide in the society? Digital divide means uh, in the society, there's a gap because of uh, some uh, group will have access to ICT. Uh, they know, uh, have the knowledge regarding the ICT. That's a one group. There's another group which don't have a computer. They have even not seen a tab. They don't know anything about ICT. They don't know at least to, how to use a mobile device, right? So there is another group, right? So these two groups, because of these two groups in the society, there is a gap, right? So that is what we call as digital divide, right? So how to minimize it? How to minimize this gap is the group which don't have ICT related stuff, we have to provide it, right? So one thing is you have to increase the computer literacy, right? And you have to educate them, right? And you have to provide equipments related to ICT. Like now, for example, we once did, uh, we went to a rural school and uh, we gave two computers for their computer lab. Actually, they didn't have any computers uh, at the school. Right? So how can they learn about ICT? If so, right? So we have provided those equipments. Establish uh, infrastructures especially for internet, right? At least if you have a small mobile uh, phone, now, yeah, it's very expensive, all these devices, but at least with the mobile device, and if you have the internet connection, you can uh, do a lot of wonders, like for example, uh, now, for example, my videos, right? So you can learn ICT from home itself, right? You don't have to spend for the classes, right? So uh, like that, education can do a lot of things from, home. So for that, you should have that specific infrastructure established. I know some students climb to the roof, climb to the trees, right, to get the signal, right? So uh, that is how students are learning, right? 
but actually corona did some good things right uh, like uh, people uh, were like were like getting used to these learning these things and uh, trying to overcome these issues right uh, i think some of them have already benefited from these things because when i see my comments also i can see a lot of students are using my channel so uh, that is one good thing happened because of the corona right activity 6.3 Right. So here they are asking, uh, complete the table below about the places in the country that collect e-waste. Right. So you have to fill this up. Right. So if you want, you can uh, get these answers directly from uh, this video. But uh, let me show you how you can find it. Right. For example, uh, if you go to this uh, Central Environmental Authority website, right? actually in that uh, home page, you can go for here. Here, waste management, license collectors. Right here, you can open up a list, right? So it is actually having e-waste uh, collectors of 2022, right? So latest list. So from this list, yeah, so this is the latest uh, licensed e-waste collectors, right, in Sri Lanka. So you can find so many people here, like around 70. So you can fill that table by using this particular thing. So I will uh, uh, share this link in the description channel so you can find out by yourself. Right, next on. Activity 6.4. List out e-waste that can be reused. Now, uh, recycling can be done for plastic, glass, metals, and all these things, right? Paper even. So this is e-waste, right? So e-waste is kind of, they're asking for examples like system units, CFL bulbs, computers, monitors, mobile phones, batteries, CDs, DVDs, right? You can uh, do a lot of things from this e-waste stuff. Activity 6.5. True or false, right? You have to write true or false. All e-waste cannot be reused. Yes, some things, yes, we have to dispose itself. We cannot reuse everything. E-waste pollutes our environment. Yes, that's what we are learning, right? It will cause a lot of diseases because of a uh, lot of metals and chemicals and acids and all these things inside those um, equipments. We are not responsible for the damage caused to the environment from e-waste. No, we are responsible. That's why we are taking these actions. To keep surroundings clean, e-waste can be taken, dumped in garbage collecting centers. Yeah, so you can clean your environment. E-waste can be used to create ornaments. Yes, I actually, uh, in the textbook video, uh, I showed you how CDs can be used for these decoration purposes like wall hangings and everything. Uh, activity 6.6, .6, read newspapers to find available opportunities for information communication technology related carriers. Uh, complete the following table using the collected information. Actually, uh, in newspapers, uh, yeah, I have never uh, looked for vacancies in newspapers in uh, my life, but uh, yes. Sometimes you may find, but uh, let me show a few uh, sites where you can find these carrier opportunities. Uh, one thing is like this, uh, this is carrierfirst.lk, right? So here you can find jobs, right? Some of these jobs, right? So for example, these are government jobs. So some jobs are here, but most popular one, let me show another one, top jobs, right? So this is not any uh, promotional uh, video. Uh, I just want to show what uh, we refer usually. So this is here you can see, you can select IT software, DB, QA, web, graphic, and GIS. And uh, if you want to go for the hardware side or networking side, you can go with this tab. So if I go here, now see, for example, I will uh, show some of these things like, um, can you see? Here, quality assurance engineer, web designer, tech uh, lead, senior software developer. I don't want to click here and go for an advertisement itself because um, no need of that. Uh, but if you go and see, 
you can actually find out what are the requirements they are asking. See, front end developers, uh, lead uh, business analysis, right, who are getting the requirements, right? And PHP is a kind of a technology, PHP developer. So specifically, they are telling, I want this kind of a developer. And this is for a .NET side software engineer. This is a senior software engineer, right? These are interns, right? These are technical content writers. Now, see, so many job opportunities, isn't it? Um, uh, product development and technical support manager, right? So like that, graphic designers, 2D animators, Okay, uh, Java programmers, right? So you can see here, actually this is a very up-to-date site. Uh, usually this is like top level uh, place where we find IT related jobs. And if you go for LinkedIn, right? If you have a profile there, like Facebook, LinkedIn is for the professionals. Now in Facebook, you put like uh, your day-to-day -day things, what you ate, where you went, and what are some, who you met like that. But in LinkedIn, it's basically for the professional uh, professionals. And uh, there you don't share this, what you ate and everything. But uh, professional stuff will be shared. So in there also, you can find out jobs. So I just want to give you some um, example. So for example, here you can write like that. Now, career, you can write software engineer. And who is go going to provide that one, right? Maybe Virtusa, like that you can write here. And then you can tell, okay, required qualifications. They will ask the degree. They will ask for four years, five years experience. They will ask you should have uh, these kind of technical knowledge. You should be fluent in English. Like that, they will ask for required qualifications. And uh, yeah, what is the role uh, you are going to play in that, right? So you can fill this up uh, by actually uh, going for those sites. Last one, activity 6.7. Find suitable expressions from computer-related careers lesson in the textbook to complete the blanks in the text below. An entrepreneur anxious to use information communication technology for business purposes consulted IT consultants. So IT consultants will give uh, knowledge about the subject to gather information on the subject. Software engineer is the one who created software required for the business purpose, right? Software developer or software engineer is the one who created the software. Quality regarding the developed software was assured. That is done by QA engineers or software quality assurance engineers, right? They will do the testing, whether the system is working, whether there is any bug, right? Then the graphic designer is the one who is going to design attractive advertisements. They will do a lot of graphic stuff um, and colorful stuff and uh, make it uh, more attractive for the uh, advertisements and everything. The businessman also wish to take the business online. For this, uh, yeah, he need to have a web site or web application developer or uh, even software engineer can put because they, they are the people who will develop these web applications. So web application developer will be a better answer assisted him. Since it was required to manage all the places in the building from the office, so networking needed to be done. So that run is done by actually network administrator, network the business premises. So for that, uh, we need to have a network administrator. Now, you can have some DB or database related people also involved, right? If you want to have the database related stuff and uh, for example, business analysis. These are the people who will give the uh, business requirement of the client, right? So there are so many job opportunities, so many job roles. So you should aware of, right? Yeah, so that's the end of um, chapter six workbook activities. So from this actually uh, grade nine uh, textbook and the, now uh, the workbook playlist are done. So yeah, thank you very much. For, uh, for joining with us uh, and uh, if you still haven't subscribed my channel please do subscribe and do comment if you learn something if you get good marks please do uh, comment because it's so encouraging to see your comments okay thank you very much